Good evening. This is Facebook love number 322. Uh, we are in full summer, but it's so odd right now because we have all this smoke. Um, today is better than yesterday, but uh, an awful lot of our country is, is covered with smoke because of the fires in Canada. Um, I find myself thinking it's logical and probably going to happen more and more and simultaneously really sad and upsetting to accept. Um, and we're also in the middle of a time where we're very reminded by the big decision of the Supreme Court last year overturning Roe v. Wade. We're listening to certain politicians make fun of the idea of being woke as if it's bad to be sensitive to change and to be cognizant of other people's pain or their experience. Um, all this stuff, uh, if I were not feeling as peaceful as I have been about other things in life, uh, would probably set me down a, a pathway of being snarky and um, angry. But instead, I am just more determined to stay focused, real, in the moment, and doing whatever I can uh, as an individual in this world. Um, so I have two pieces, as usual. This first one has a great title. It is called, If You Are Over, Staying Woke. Oops, sorry, camera. Um, the author is Morgan Parker. If you are over staying woke. If you're not familiar with different forms of poetry, I will say this ahead of time. This one does that thing where it spirals down and the meanings of the same words change as we go. Just letting you know. It's a little less logical uh, than a lot of what I read. If You Are Over Staying Woke by Morgan Parker. Water the plants, drink plenty of water, don't hear the news, get bored, complain about the weather, keep a corkscrew in your purse, swipe right sometimes, don't smile unless you want to. Sleep in. Don't see the news. Remember what the world is like for white people. Listen to cricket songs. Floss. Take pills. Keep an empty mind. When you are hungover, do not say, I'm never drinking again. Be honest when you're up to it. Otherwise, drink water, lie to yourself, turn off the news, burn the papers, skip the funerals, take pills, laugh at dumb shit, fuck people you don't care about, use the crock pot, use the juicer, use the smoothie maker, drink water from the sky, don't think too much about the sky, don't think about water, skip the funerals, close your eyes whenever possible. When you toast, Look everyone in the eyes. Never punctuate the president. Write the news. Turn into water. Water the fire escape. Burn the paper. Crumble the letters. Instead of hyacinths, pick hydrangeas. Water the hydrangeas. Wilt the news. White the hydrangeas. Drink the white. Waterfall the cricket songs. Keep a song. Mind. Don't smile. Don't wilt. Funeral. Funeral. If You Are Over Staying Woke by Morgan Parker. That's copyrighted 2015. This other one is by Camille T. Dungy. 
It's titled, This Beginning May Have Always Meant This End. Coming from a place where we meandered mornings and met quail, scrub jay, mockingbird, I knew coyote. Like everyone else, I knew cactus, knew tumbleweed, lichen on the rocks, and pill bugs beneath, rattlers sometimes. The soft smell of sage and the ferment of cactus pear coming from this place, from a place where grass might grow greener on the hillside in winter than in any yard, where the whole rest of the year, everything I loved, chaparral pea, bottle brush tree, Yacaranda, mariposa, pinion, and desert oak, the kumquat in the back garden, and wisteria vining the porch, the dry grass whispering long after the, la the last rains, raccoons in and out of the hills, trash hurled in the hottest wind, the dry grass tall now and golden, lawn chairs, eucalyptus, everything in a place we knew, every thing we knew, little and large and mine and ours, except horror, all of it, everything could flame up that quickly, could flare and be gone. This beginning may have always meant this end by Camille T. Dun Dungy. Sorry, I've been not very good at being well-spoken lately. Um, that one is because of the fires. I wanted to read that today. We can't ignore all these droughts, all this fire worldwide people starving, people migrating, people making fun of being aware of what's going on and wanting to make changes in their own perspective. It's not wrong to be woke if you know what woke means. I feel like there are politicians who've tried to turn words like progress and liberal, which just means open and sort of lavish and now woke into dirty words. It's not dirty to want to evolve. And we certainly need to pay attention or we won't have much of a world for our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. Pensive today. This is face Facebook love number, I forgot the number, number 322. I'll see you again.